What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's episode. Now today we got a couple things that I want to cover in detail uh, about Call of Duty Ghosts and any speculation regarding it. So to save you guys the time of listening to me babble on and on, let's just jump right into it. So first thing we got up is pre-orders and I did notice upon making this that T-Mart did make a video about pre-orders and like the most bang for your buck, but I did not watch it. So if his sources are the same as mine, well then that's just sheer coincidence. But I found a really cool article um, on idigitaltimes.com and it is pretty good in explaining what has the best deals for pre-orders and where to go to get the most bang for your buck. So let's start off with the not so noteworthy of pre-order bonuses. So let's start with the bottom two, Gamefly and Toys R Us. At the moment, Toys R Us does not have any pre-order bonuses out listing, but they usually do throw in something here and there, so I can't really hold them down to any particular place of a pre-order like slot line in which they are ranking. But Gamefly Gamefly, on the other hand, they're just only offering $7 site credit, which isn't much at all. I mean, let's face it, you get more for trading in a couple games at GameStop. Um, and this is, yes, it's a pre-order bonus, but I don't think it's going to entice many people to buy it off of Gamefly. Slightly up the ladder, though, even still kind of considered a joke in the Call of Duty community, is the Amazon pre-order bonus, because what you get with that is not even a physical type of enticement. It is two digital wallpapers, and you can guarantee that these are going to find their way around the internet. It's not going to be something that you're going to have to pre-order exclusively for. I mean, let's face it, we're in the 21st century, everything is shared around with file sharing and all that and if it's something actually that cool it's gonna find its way into the free market some way or another now the top two offering a pre-order bonus in the actual sense of what you get out of your money bang for your buck it is between GameStop and Best Buy but it's really based on your preference in essence on what you like to see out of a pre-order now Best Buy isn't really offering anything physical either but it is $15 off of a game but they're not horrible games that you have to select from the games that you can select the $15 off from whenever you buy the pre-order and then also transfer it over into the text of money off you can buy MLB the show God of War Ascension Black Ops 2 Defiance, Gears of War, Judgment, or a 12-month subscription to Xbox Live. So in essence, it's not really that bad. Yes, it's not the best in my opinion, but a lot of people will speculate otherwise. I mean, but that's all personal preference. Now, Best Buy, I mean, we've already covered this before, but to just reiterate, they're offering a two-sided poster, one with the Ghost Balaclava Soldier, as well as the skull that we are accustomed to and seeing as the symbol of Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, this article actually also touches on a few other things, but they're mainly mechanics of of Call of Duty Ghosts and the engine itself that will power it. Firstly, dolphin diving, in essence, air quotes, is supposed to make a return in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, it probably won't be actual dolphin diving, but rather the mechanics in which you can slide and shoot your gun at the same time. Something like that, in which you can go semi-prone to not being crouched, but like that little sliding motion you would do in the sense of sliding into a base in baseball. It's also believed and speculated that the actual ability to roll while prone will be in Call of Duty Ghosts, and if this is something that comes into play, then this is actually revolutionary for the Call of Duty uh, series itself, because this is something that actually I've heard a lot about in the YouTube community and Call of Duty community in general, that people wanted to see because it, it is a very unique dynamic to a game and a player's movement to be able to do those evasive type shoot and run and gun type things. And that is something that if it is implemented, it could have really good implications on the player's playstyle. And the last thing that I wanted to touch on today is the absurd, I don't know if that's the word that I want to use because nothing's really absurd in a speculating phase, but the idea of zombies being in Call of Duty Ghosts, to me, I just don't ever see this happening because it has been Treyarch's flagship idea in the Call of Duty series that has pretty much catapulted their actual games into the market more so than usual because people buy the game for zombies. Let's face it, it's not just multiplayer and campaign that they buy it for. The zombies community is actually gigantic. And now the thing is, if Infinity Ward were to just be like, hey, let's put that into our game, it would destroy their reputation and it would honestly bring about so much uproar and hate in the community that I don't think Infinity Ward would recover from it. So 
Even though the licensing could be realistically transferred to Infinity Ward, I don't think that Infinity Ward would even dare venture into that territory because it is just something that isn't their intellectual property per se, but also that even if they did get their hands on it and wanted to do it, it would just cause so many more problems than need be. So, Personally, I don't think that it's going to happen. Whether or not it does, I guess only time will tell. But that has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Equal Espresso. If you guys want to stay up to date with anything Call of Duty uh, Ghost related, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more information and news that I'm going to be putting up daily. Hopefully, at least, that is. Uh, but I'm going to be bringing you guys the best and the newest in Call of Duty Ghost news as soon as I get wind of it. So, as always, likes, comments, and shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're an OG like that are greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Equal Espresso. Have a nice day and peace out.